and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some sea monsters and dragons. It is Monday, that means it's meme tier Monday and we got some sweet decks to start with. Sea monsters and dragons, we are going to be playing Nautilus and Aurelian Soul together, that's right. We're going to have our big dragons, infinite mind splitter and Volius Vox and of course our sea monsters like Devour Depths and Abyssal Eye to go along with Nautilus. Uh, this deck's pretty greedy, but that's that's uh, it's going to be awesome. We're going to have Jaw Hunters create some more sea monsters for us and be some removal. Dragon's Clutch being a nice draw, too, to go along with Salvage. Got a little bit of tossing with Salvage, Jettison, Dredge, Dredgers. Um, some early defense with Solari Soldier, Solari Shield Bear, and Petty Officer to help us get to our top end. Um, even get some Celestials with Star Shaping and, of course, a really in Soul. Uh, creating some celestials as well. Um, so yeah, this is this is going to be pretty sweet. We're going to have a little bit of everything. So Nautilus is, can be. We level up Nautilus. We got a thirteen thirteen, a really in soul a ten at ten. Both of those are huge. But you know what they don't have? They don't have overwhelm. And so we got to play a couple of Zenith Blades to be able to give Nautilus and a really in soul overwhelm because that's what they're missing, <laughs> and have them really crash in. All right, so that's our first deck, Sea Monsters and Dragons. Let's go fishing for dragons. We're going to go play our games over in normal today. It's meme tier day. Uh, so we're just trying out the decks. If we go 4-0 with a deck in normal, then we'll play our fifth game in ranked. Um, all right, so it looks like we got Teemo Sejuani as our first matchup. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the, the dragon draw two... Uh, Dragon's Clutch that draws two. We get to, we can play that and um, just keep these. There we go. We can play this and draw our dragon. So so therefore we're to keep us from tossing the dragons, right? So like before we actually toss those things, we want to draw them. And round. So they're a puff cap deck and we're a toss deck. That's always kind of awkward. You want them to do, like we want to have the puff caps before we toss. To so we don't we don't want to toss and then make our our deck size very small, and then they put tons and tons of puff caps on because then it just increases the likelihood that we draw puff caps. Cool. So there should be a, a pump, or, you know, a defensive spell here that they're going to be using. But I'll let them do that. You know, elixir of iron troll chant, that kind of stuff. This will be a good winter. Oh. All right, I'm just going to cast this dragon's clutch right now to draw two dragons because I don't really want to draw a dragon for turn. Yeah, puff caps do disappear if you toss the card that had the puff cap on it. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. <laughs> sea monsters and dragons. Winter no. Punish transgressions. Fly away while you can. More protection spells. Those protection spells are really good, like that, like, Troll Chant's a really good spell, and I just, you know, traded my Solari Soldier with that Troll Chant, and I'm just fine with that. This, would be a good winter. this hasn't gone that bad for us. Which is a little weird to say. Alright, toss to sea monster. So this next turn is turn six. We got Inveolus Vox. Just gotta wait on this guiding touch. We could you know, gain two life, draw a card. Don't necessarily need to do that immediately. Alright, so we are definitely going to need to sunburst this. 
I hope they let us do that before attacking. Too bad. That's too bad. Alright, not going for lethal. Set 20 down. What if Powder Keg worked with like Nexus healing, <laughs> right? So like we would heal an additional point. Definitely don't want to just pass turn and do nothing. I guess I'm just gonna start shaping. Um. I don't know, these are all kind of the same card. Yeah, like they're they're all basically the same card. I'll just take this the immortal fire. It's elusive and costs less than the others. Like they have three cards in hand. We have three times as many cards. <laughs> so if we can just get this game to go a little bit longer. That'll probably be good for us. We'll pass priority here. Could save my spell mana. Um, I could draw two with the Dragon's Clutch. We could play another Petty Officer. Alright, we're gonna play another Petty Officer. Uh, Priestess for Jaw, which card would you take if you had to choose one? For, I mean. That answer would be different for different decks. Are you talking about for, for this deck? I, I guess that's what my assumption is that you mean for this deck. Um, I think Jaw Hunters make sense with with how little removal our deck has of that being able to challenge champions. Um, Priestess does, does have the ability to create... Removal spells for you at times. So I guess I want to. Do I want to do draw, draw, toss? I guess it'd be better to toss now, because like if this number is going to get doubled, um, each puff cap that we can toss means that the double is less. So tossing now makes sense. Now we're down to 13, so it's going to turn into 26. Um, it's basically, do I want to like do the heal nexus and draw and stuff, or do I want to play the Immortal Fire? I guess I should be playing the Immortal Fire. No, I'm going to heal and draw. This is where we wouldn't really mind drawing a puff cap because that means it's just not doubled. During like those all those animations and stuff, our time is running out, so like I wouldn't have been able to do stuff that much anyway. So instead of me having 30 puff caps, I have 24 now because of what we just did. So a little bit better. Jaw Hunters was a good find. Ooh, Devour Depths is a good find too. All right, so if I go, I could go Aurelian Soul and we level up Aurelian Soul, but we're going to go Nautilus because that allows me to cast Devourer Depths as well. And so now I'll have Devourer Depths to try to answer Teemo, and if that doesn't work, then Jaw Hunter's Challenge to answer Teemo. So they got to keep their Teemo alive through both of these. Time. 
I think that makes sense. Like, I could block here. No, that makes sense. <clears throat> Challenge that. Alright, there we go. GG's. Sea monsters and dragons. Waters cannot be sated. A pr prickly biscuit. Hello, hello. Alright, we got Endure. Looks like they who endure. Which they who endure is usually pretty big. We'll see if it's bigger than what we got going on. Uh, I guess we just keep all these, right? We just keep cheap things, kind of trade. Maybe that's bad for that we're trading, but it's better than our life total getting hit. Sunburst takes down they who endure, so definitely keeping that card. Um, let's go with the soldier with us having the attack token. Punish transgressions. Get an aggro in here. <laughs> I know, right? There's such a difference with maple syrup with the getting like the real maple syrup and then getting like the I don't know, like the Miss Buttersworth or whatever, like the the processed syrup. You gotta go with like the real maple syrup. Possible should be just spending this turn doing the Dragon's Clutch. I'm actually surprised they took that. I was kind of expecting the Avaros and Sentry to block. It makes sense just to sunburst this Callista and just get it out of here. And then I don't have sunburst for they who enter. Eh, we'll do it. I may lose to a They Who Endure later. We'll see. I got my Elusive Sea Monster for next turn, and then Devour Depths the turn after. Yeah, Sunburst is good. No, not another Clista. <laughs> I should have passed priority after they played the Callista, and then they would have played this thing, and then I would have killed the Callista. So right now, Omen Hawk is the best. Omen Hawk is what they're bringing back. Probably should have sacrificed the Avarosan Sentry. Or yeah, now it's only this thing. They this Ravenous Butcher should have sacrificed Avaros and Sentry. Um, that thing's fearsome. Yeah. Alright, we'll obliterate Avaros and Sentry. Wow, that's a lot of removal. They had all three Callistas. That was a Callista Black Spear. It's unexpected for sure. I guess we'll just draw two dragons. Okay, we can mind splitter next turn. I'm gonna waste the mana anyway, so we'll, I'll just cast this Jettison. Yeah, so the, the Chomp, of course, is an Obliterate, so they, it would not give them the last breath to be able to draw a card, and it would not allow, it would not grow they who enter either. So we'll take two, and then we'll stun. Sure. Stunned 
on that Averrozen Sentry. The fourth Callista? Already? We're two away from deep. Nautilus does have Fearsome. Forward, forward. Devotion to battle. What's up, Grace Claw? Deck title sounds like a new RPG idea. <laughs> Thanks for that resub, Grace Claw. It sure does. Alright, so we're attacking like this. So, uh,. They could, you know, they could have the 4-3 block my 2-2, two -two, but if they do that, then they can't block Nautilus. Because Nautilus is fearsome, so the only thing that can block it is the 4-3. So yeah, now my 2-2 two -two gets to eat stuff. Then this grows. All right, we're diving deeper, fishing for our dragons. The water rises. They haven't had that many things die, as far as they who endure goes. Our Nautilus will probably be able to tussle with it pretty, you know, fairly well. Not they who endure. These old eyes still see far and clear. No, we're gonna have Nautilus and Aurelian Soul in play at the same time. The waters cannot be the biggest seated. champions. The one that's deep below the surface and the one that's high upon the mountain. Zambi. Zambi. Oh, what's up, puppy? Alright, sorry. Ugh. Puppy, where'd you go? Oh! <laughs> You're not very good at jumping. Come on. Try again. There you go. You need to work on your jumping skills. All right, Pup, what do you think? Keep our hand. Good call. I like it. I like it. Keep our hand. So we have the attack token turn one again. So we can get our aggro... Solari soldier start. Yeah, puppy's a Shiba Inu. Shiba Inu. And Inu is spelled I-N-U. Um, I lived out in the country about six years ago or so. And just one day go, going to work in the morning, uh, go outside and just ride on, on the porch there was Puppy. She was so small she could like fit in, in like just in the palm of my hands. She was just a newborn puppy. And that's I named her, named her Puppy. But uh, yeah, she was just a stray dog that, um, well, not really a stray dog, I guess. It was somebody, you know, placed her on my porch and woke up that morning and found her. And she's just the best. Okay, let's see. Let's go with the Petty Officer. Our Jaw Hunters is going to be removal for Lee Sin and Tarek, which we don't need immediately. Sapphire, gem of our divine thinking. Devotion to battle. This is not the way. 
Har my other dog, Harvey. Harvey was also a stray dog who showed up to the house. Harvey showed up first, um, but she was uh, she was a little older. She was really, really skinny. Um, you know, she was she was a stray dog that needed a home. It's a difficult call which one to go with, you know, Sunburst or just plan on going with the Jaw Hunters. I'm actually just going to go with the Sunburst right now. I, they can't deny this. They can have Bastion, I suppose. Is all in the mind. My lands, Why did not work out? <laughs> yeah, you can eat the nibble for it, sure. Uh. I was hoping they would play something and then I was going to, you know, have my Jaw Hunters afterwards. I could have gone with... Yeah, this didn't work out. This didn't work out for me. Alright, bye puppy. Oh, are you going to sit like this? Could have gone with just the guiding touch first, but there obviously, of course, there wasn't anything to guiding touch. <laughs> Lee Sim players always have the one card they need to save Lee, except me. Letting get golden glory, beauty and life. Set the hook. This is probably going to work, right? Conflict is all in the mind. Better than eating. Get the trash! Eat the trash! <laughs> yeah, we just got to keep surviving. This isn't going like that bad for us. Gotta keep surviving. The, obviously, the bad part is they have their two champions, right? Like, so they have their two champions and a whole bunch of spells. Like, that's obviously very bad. Besides that, it's not going that bad. All unbelievers will see the light. Yeah, hopefully, our double mind splitters will do some work. Hopefully, no will of Ionia. Um, yeah, obviously, there's the Leeson Dragon's Rage. I don't think Tarek is a bad card one bit. <laughs> yeah, we could have a deck full of dragons with the Ionia. Yeah, have all the Ionia dragons and then the Tarkon dragons. That could definitely be an option. I will not hold back. Good call not playing Devourer Depths. Um... Good, nope. Well, they can still have Will of Ionia, darn it. Please, no Will of Ionia. Let this happen. Sweet. No Will yet. No, a dragon. You need to bounce this infinite mind splitter. Right, like that's probably what they want to do is like bounce it on this turn. My spirit, not my Our enemies would be foolish to So we're gonna have another one. Cool, pass. We've got ten mana. So now to unlock the, their two champions, they have to bounce both of these like during my turn. That can't be that easy. So we're only four away from deep. So we get to Nautilus, Jettison, and then we can start playing some sea monsters. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Saying our our mind splitters are like DJ Khaled. Oh, okay. 
We're gonna go with that. Hushing them and then attacking. Okay. Well, they don't. No mercy for heretics. It's fine. They don't have any abilities or anything. Obviously, I could block them with the Mind Splitters, but I think they want me to block them with the Mind Splitters so they can play new Taric and new Lee Sin. Yeah, I think they wanted theirs to die also. Alright, let's dive deeper. So the bad part about drawing all the sea monsters is that we're not, not really tossing the sea monsters to put them back. Plus two spells. The dragon I mean, I think like that hush play is cute, but I think they should probably do that hush play when I'm attacking. So four, five, six, seven, eight. And of course, I just wanted to uh, free room, so that's why I just blocked with these things. Hey, Super Z, happy Monday. Best day of the week. That's right, we got sea monsters and dragons on Mondays. Oh, this deck is sweet. The sea does not forget. We have the sea and the mountain. All right, Trundle or Rillian Soul? So we got a Rillian Soul, Mirror. They got Trundle. We got Nautilus. But we going bigger. Let's see. We have Dragon's Clutch to draw a couple dragons. Let's just keep that and have a nice draw, too. Okay, I was going to say look for a little bit earlier stuff. They have a bunch of ramp, which... Is maybe not that great for me. We tossed two sea monsters, so we'll get those back. Ooh, Spacey Sketcher. Gotta block my 1 1. Scared of the 1 1. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty sparkle fly. <laughs> yeah, gotta get rid of the dredgers. Otherwise, that, otherwise, they'd be at 19 life, and how could they ever recover from 19 life? Gotta get that thing into block right away. Alright, that card's awesome. Let's take it. Let's pass. We get to save our mana. Could draw a card. Ooh. I did not obliterate any dragons, and the good thing I didn't, I should have cast this thing first before tossing. Because, yeah, like, what if I would have just obliterated, like, both infinite mind splitters? <laughs> that would have been sad. One star's whoopsie is another spark. Awesome. So we got our, got our dragons. We got our turn of six, turn seven, turn eight, and turn ten. We got our curve. Nautilus brings back the sea monsters, but not the dragons, right? Oh, wait. Oh, no. Does, does Nautilus bring back... Oh, wait. Okay, yeah. Tossed allies that cost four plus in your deck. Never mind. I was thinking for some reason it was like... Bring back sea monsters. Okay, yeah. So I just had this all wrong. You're right. Yeah. My bad. So yeah, Nautilus brings them back. 
So I guess it, it so it would have been bad if we would have tossed the two infinite mind splitters because then we knew we wouldn't draw one for our dragon draw two. You know, that draws two different dragons. Because then we'd only have like the like let's say our one Vox and two mind splitters were tossed, then we'd only have a Rillian Soul left. So that's how it could have been bad, I suppose. Unyielding light. Yeah. I yeah, I've definitely forgotten about that before too. Danger pay. Hush. And you hush. All right, well, the 3-2 is going to trade with the 2-2 two -two anyway. They they really... I think that was a waste of 3 mana. Honestly, I'm glad they used that 3 mana instead of just banking it. I don't think they should have played that Hush the second time. So we have the Vox. Wish we, wish we had Devour Adepts here. If I could go Jettison Devour Adepts, that would be nice. Down to eight? I want to challenge the 04, but I'm down to eight. So maybe I need to challenge the 3 3. These waters are mine. Up there in the mountain. Good, not infinite mind splitter on their part. Fell into them. All right, everybody wants Trickster. I, my my instinct is to take out the Weirding Stones. The doors. Um, I should have played this Jettison also because it's possible they just didn't block. Down. I should have played that first. That was my my plan was to play that first before blocks because they didn't have to block here. They could have just taken five. I should. I was talking about that Trickster thing, but yeah, I meant to play that thing first. So I feel like the 3-3 three, three isn't very important, but them getting the extra mana and getting to a really soul faster is important. Oh, I forgot this thing costs zero. Oh, man, I should have done this before combat. I should have attacked the 7-7 seven, seven also. Oh, well, too late. So I cannot kill a Mind Splitter. Ooh, good. They don't have a Mind Splitter. That's good. Oh, we're just going to say those two things can't block next turn. Make them play other things to block. See, look at Inviolus Vox. Creating an infinite mind splitter for us. See, that card's awesome. So they're going up to 20. And they have one blocker. That's still taking lethal. Yeah, it was a free attack. I've got meat bigger than you. Well, they, they attacked with that 3 3 because it was just going to be stunned anyway because of the mind splitter. So, you know, might as well just attack with it, I suppose. We are 4 and 0. Oh. Sea monsters and dragons. <laughs> this deck is working. The sea does not forget. All right, four and zero oh with our meme tier deck. That means too good for normal. We're gonna be taking it on over to ranked masters rank, throwing it in the deep end. Pun intended. And we'll see how Nautilus and Aurelian Soul do there. Now it's gonna be our toughest test yet. Not only are we in Master's Rank, but this is also the most aggressive of decks that we have faced so far. I will mulligan the Abyssal Eye and keep the rest of these. Maybe I should be keeping that Abyssal Eye? I mean, it is, it is like a nice elusive blocker. Or a nice elusive threat. I have my orders. Special Nasty! On an Eye! 
Yeah, it's like the Solari. Yeah, how are we gonna survive early? The Solari cards, the dredge dredgers, definitely important. We do have some Nexus healing. We're gonna need a lot. I think this this version of Misfortune Gangplank's playing, you know, all four decimate or all three decimates and all that kind of stuff. No, petty officers, I needed you. Definitely could have used those petty officers. Yeah, this this is probably our toughest matchup, right? <laughs> this is the most aggressive of decks. It's really good. But not that good. small, but lacking courage. That was probably our best card to make with Jaw Hunters. Love ya. Yeah, they had a great opening. One drop, double one drop misfortune. That's about as good as it gets the first three turns. Now, I had two one drops myself. So I had a good opening for us. Star shaping is going to be critical. <laughs> Zed's blade looks silly. Uh... I guess I play this now. There's no real reason not to play Healing Guiding Touch now. Alright, we got a soldier. All unbelievers will see the light. We're nine away from deep. So I can draw two dragons do that because my draw for turn I do not want to be a dragon right like I don't want to draw either of those for turn I want to be drawing like star shaping and stuff like that Punish transgressions. no I mean we're they're gonna have a whole lot of nexus damage they got two spells off zap spray fins they're gonna have like their noxion fervors and all that kind of stuff and Looking pretty rough. I'll be very, very surprised if we're able to stabilize. But we're gonna try. We need star shaping. Or guiding touch. We need those. Like they're just gonna have decimate, decimate. Bilgewater is mine and mine alone. Neither the flames nor the deaths can claim me, Captain. GGS. Let them bleed out. If I had jettison, no, we'd still we're five away from deep. That deck's really good, that Misfortune Gangplank just all burn, especially with that kind of start. Having the attack token turn one, uh, being able to play triple one drop the first two turns, then Misfortune and attack immediately, that's really difficult to beat. Um, so, good hand. Uh, and ran over our Sea Monsters and Dragons deck. Um, still, this deck was really impressive. It was a lot of fun to play. Uh, you know, we did see our, our toughest matchup and, and a deck that had too strong of a hand also. Um, you know, that's that's everything you want with that that deck, like from the opponent's side. They had, you know, pretty perfect hand. Because um, our hand wasn't bad. You know, I can't, I can't complain about our hand, but theirs was good. Uh, let's see. The Petty Officers were awesome, though, earlier. Uh, stabilizing with the Petty Officers, that card was really good. It was easier to get 
uh, deep than I thought. The Jettisons actually played pretty well with the toss. Um, you know, we were frequently deep turn seven, turn eight. I wasn't really expecting us to be deep that much. But yeah, we were able to get deep pretty fast with, you know, uh, Dredgers tossing, Jettison tossing, um, just Dragon's Clutch drawing two. That helps you get deep. And then Salvage as well, getting rid of four cards. Um, our Dragons were cool. Infinite Mind Splitter, awesome. Inviolus Vox creating Infinite Mind Splitter, pretty good. Um, yeah, this, this deck worked. This deck worked very well. I was really impressed with it. Um, yeah, I think that the two champions of each worked pretty well. We we always had Nautilus and Aurelian Soul. Didn't really necessarily feel like we needed more than that. We had a good amount of card advantage in here, so I think that worked out pretty well. Uh, so there we go. Awesome deck. That's Sea Monsters and Dragons. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave any comments. If you try the deck out yourself, let me know how it's going for you. Um, you know, hope you have fun with this one. That's what Meme Tier Monday is all about. Uh, and uh, that, yeah, that's it. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.